And so here is the brand new aftermarket attachment on the KV broadside shotgun that changes it into a battle rifle. First of all, the thing that I've noticed is it is a Modern Warfare 2 weapon. And second of all, a shotgun is now an assault or well, a battle rifle. This is definitely one of the most interesting things I have uh, experienced with aftermarket parts because I personally, I've been kind of keeping up with them, but I don't remember a uh, shotgun getting turned into an assault or uh, battle rifle. Why do I keep calling it an assault rifle? Um, So what we're going to do is hop into some zombies and see maybe, you know, the bullets are like shotgun-esque. They... It, it, it seems to be oh my god look at the look how crazy the animation on it is when you shoot <laughs> it goes nuts and yeah we're just gonna hop around go into tier three probably and check out if it maybe is a beast and maybe not you know that's the best thing to do with these aftermarket parts whenever they come out okay here we are inside of a game uh, i put no attachments on it apart from the aftermarket one and uh we are going to try to oh there's some jobs over there let's see oh what okay so that didn't kill it from that distance, which isn't anything surprising. Like I'm not, I'm not disappointed. Uh, but now let's do a close up on the zombie. I guess that's oh, oops, bad. Oh, oh, oh. oh, so the distance had no difference. Wait, so if I shoot it from a distance of here, it deals that much damage. Okay, now let's run up closer and shoot it closer up. Oh, so it's just the damage on the weapon itself. Well, I mean, you're not supposed to really shoot the weapon uh, one bullet at a time. You are supposed to shoot it multiple times. So. Um, I guess two bullets to kill one zombie isn't the best, but that's just because this is the first. Then it actually, no, think about it now for a weapon that is, oh, how the hell did I, oh, I guess I shot it somewhere else. Probably headshot is one shot. Um, I, I don't know how to feel about that one, but I do have, a, oh God, my, my whole thing is a mess. We're going to put on blue rarity and pack a punch level one, which obviously will kill uh, the zombies in here with absolute ease, but I want to run into tier two. Why did that disappear? gonna run into tier two and see how easy it is to kill a zombie there with this rarity because i found myself being blue rarity and pack a punch level one in tier two fairly fast and i'm not gonna test out like purple rarity or pack a punch two with blue rarity because the weapon does become way better actually maybe maybe pack a punch level two with blue rarity would be i guess close enough but this is just an example for an average player who doesn't spawn in with a rucksack that looks like this. I don't even know why I have this. Somebody gave this to me in a game and I've just been running around with this. And also this ray gun case, same situation. I kind of used it and I haven't died since and I just run around with it. Actually, let me put on these these two perks that I have. Okay, we're in tier two. Let's see from a, uh, excuse me. Let's see from a distance. Oh, oh, well, that was real bad. <laughs> what? All right. Oh, because oh, you were a light armored one. Oh, you're eating those bullets up. Normal zombie? Well, that's just as bad. Doesn't matter. Okay, um, don't know how to feel about that one as well. Uh, not not the bestest, not the best. I'm kind of I'm kind of concerned. I was kind of hoping that maybe I don't know as wacky as these guns get. I don't really know if they're also based on real life guns. I feel like they are like the aftermarket ones. But uh, I I I'm scared that maybe like gold rarity and pack a bunch three will be bad. So here goes nothing. Let's just slap this on to not waste any more time, and. Oh my god, it doesn't even one shot with one. Oh, not even in tier two. Oh, well, then again, you could probably put on attachments. Don't forget that. You can always smack on an attachment here and there, make it more powerful. And obviously, fully automatic it is getting through them because, again, you're supposed to be shooting it continuously or without stop, basically fully automatic because that's what it is. But oh my god, it's very difficult to aim with. I should have at least put on a red dot. That would have been, I mean, maybe accuracy wise, but do you really care about accuracy? As in, if I cheated, well, cheated, if I used an attachment to give me a benefit of that would you be angry at that i doubt that anybody really even cares that i didn't or well i would have put on attachments but now i'm gonna make my way to tier uh, to three and we're gonna see how it deals there probably not good at all because it isn't doing the best here and if it's not doing the best in tier two i am hopeless for tier three also to unlock this weapon it's actually pretty easy it took me one like game over time after the storm started coming in or whatever the like stinky stuff came in uh i just used a shotgun i ran around i got points then i came into tier three to get the get the 150 tier three zombie kills and then i just run around trying to look for mimics and i tried to keep my distance and yeah it just kind of ended up happening so if you're wondering if it's a difficult one it took me one game and i am not the bestest i can't see the health bar on that zombie um is there any zombie that wants to jump up here 
kind of don't want to go down there. Um, oof, oof, that is not good from a distance anyway. Who, oh, oh, make an abomination, perfect. Who would be also just shooting from a distance? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, <laughs> what the hell? Uh, that is meh at best. Gold rarity, how about close up? How many of those dudes are you gonna send up, bro? Oh no, let's hide. While we hide, let's see on these dudes. Oh my god, wow. Mega, mega, please relax. Uh, dude, just, 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 just die. You are not gonna die. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna waste a bunch of time if I try to take down that mega abomination with this gun. Uh. All right, let's check these dudes out. Okay, so on normal zombies, it's just like not the greatest. Oh my god, am I gonna die? Oh, uh, you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, well, that was a lunge, if I ever seen it. He just literally teleported towards me. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. I think I want to get out of this tier as fast as possible. Um, but I also need to test out if it actually is any good. It, it, it isn't. <laughs> That's your long story short, ladies and gentlemen. Is this gun worth unlocking or this? Oh, God. Oh, dear. Is this aftermarket? Aftermath? Aftermarket? They have like two names. Worth unlocking? I don't know. If you are a completionist, then yeah, but if you don't really care about getting a weapon that seems to be above average without any attachments, um, is it above average? Yeah, it is. I mean, I'm still killing them. Like, it's not that I can't kill any of them, but you're better off aiming at their head. And uh, these weekly challenges this season are overall just kind of meh. Wait, we dealt... Oh, and I'm out of ammo. I'm gonna dip because I don't want to die. We dealt a lot of damage on that disciple, though. But going back to the weekly challenges, they are very meh. Just because the camel that you even unlock is just disappointing, in my opinion. They're kind of running out of ideas. Uh, because if you look at the Godzilla one that we just had, it was just the exact same thing. It's just images. It's such a weird approach that they're taking to that. But, alright, let's get some more ammo. And for tier 3, this thing... Triple back a punch with no attachments. Always remember that with no attachments. It's it's not the bestest. And tier two, triple back a punch, gold rarity, it's pretty solid. Um Yeah. There's not much more to say about it. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to subscribe. I I'm I, I just still can't believe that it, this is a shotgun. It just feels so weird. A shotgun that is now just weird. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to drop a like on the video. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.